Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mr. Gaming Counselor. Jeff, hit it. Welcome to the Counselor's Office. That's right. We are back in the Counselor's Office with more Pokemon Ho Emerald Hardcore Hoenlock. Last episode, we took on the Trickster's house. But the Trickster took a lot of our time, and I didn't realize it, but we got a lot of good stuff from it. Uh, the Magnet, we got PP Max. Um, we just, we got a bunch of different goodies, and I'm kind of happy. So now, here we are, we're in the, uh, contest hall, where we will be taking on Pokemon for contest. I have my lovely Pokemon, uh, where'd you go? There you are. I forgot I dropped it in here. Let's put it, put Hancock on the team. We're going to be needing Hancock for this. That is right. Because... First off, let's show you what we what we got going on, right? This is what I had to deal with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now, there is nothing more annoying than berries. I had to, I had, I literally farmed for different berries, not, just not just Chesto, like very specific berries, and I had to farm, and I had to go into my emulator and I had to turn a bunch of stuff off and everything I could so that the real clock time clock. Um, wasn't active. Why? Because I learned the intricacies of berry growing in Pokemon Emerald. Did you know that there is four cycles of for berries? There's the 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 seed, the planting of it. Then there's the the seeding of it. The little baby seed part pops out. Then there is the 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 tree, and then there's the flowers, and then there's the berry. It is absurd. And the reason why it matters is because apparently you want to water at each stage so you get the maximum amount of berries, which you can get, I think, three berries in Emerald. Someone said four. I, I didn't get four. I got three. But to get maximum of three berries per tree, you have to water at each stage. And each stage takes three hours. Three hours to do. A total of 12 hours. And if that's based off... If your clock is based off the real world clock... That's 12 hours of waiting. So I had to go in there to turn off the clock. And then I had to set uh, the turbo mode and then the frames to like max. So it was, it was still going very slow, but it was going based on its own internal file time versus the real world time. So I was able to fast forward the game. And so the clock actually moved a little bit faster. It looked, it actually went this speed. That's how fast the minutes went. And then the hour is just like. It, 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 I literally spent three hours. I, I had time to go make dinner and everything. I spent three hours while the clock did that. While it went through all 12 or all four stages. And I had to stop and check and go back to where I planted it. To check to see if all these different berries had grown. And they grow at different rates too. Chestos were stage four. And at three hours increment. Other berries uh, were not. Like the nice, the different. And also, here's another thing. Let's just kind of like talk about that this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. And it's, I'm so glad these are gone. We used all the ones I needed. But I had initially made all of these. They're based on levels and then feeling. It determines how much of a boost your Pokemon gets for that, uh, like for instance, beauty is dry. Blue is, is beauty. So you take a bunch of dry to boost your beauty for the beauty contest. In this case, we want Feebas to evolve into Milotic. In order to get max, you can't use just Chesto berries. You have to use rare berries that increase your level to like 50. And then the feeling is like 37. It is so convoluted or 25. Like, there's three different levels. There's the base level, there's 25, and then there's 50. You can't do 50 because you need the pimp tree or whatever. You can do Kelpsy berries in the middle. Do a bunch of Kelpsy berries to get where you need to get. And that's how you get max beauty on Feebas. But you can't do max, max beauty with basic Chesto berries, which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen to get f actually have to do Milotic. So stupid. It was 
so much work in grinding to get berries, resetting for the berries, farming the berries, dunking the berries, growing the berries. Then you come over here to get to do the actual block thing and you have to do them per berry. And we're going to do one again just to show you so we, you can experience it with me. Oh dear, it looks as if you're you're good at blending. Would you like to join us? Oh dear, naturally you know how to make blocks, don't you? Yes. Okay, dear, let's get started. Now, there could be a better way of doing this. You just go in, you do what it says, you click your berry. I'm clicking at, at Chesto Berry, you're dropping it in there. Everyone's participating. You used to be able to do this online and connect with friends and do it. I don't know why you would. But the point is, is to line up to get a perfect target. You have to line up, but it is so specific. You have to be dead on point, and I don't know how you see this. Like, I'm doing fairly well just to hit it, but you have to be, like, on par, and that's it. Your rankings, and then depending on your rank, depends on the level. Now, for some reason, because I missed two, I got a level one or level 11 and not 12, and then the feeling is 21. No, I don't want to blend more. But I had to do that for every berry. And then you have to do, you have to, the biggest issue is that you could only give up like up to 10 berries, I think. And so if you don't max a, max a stat out by that time, your Pokemon is maxed at that level. Like you can't do anything else. So I literally have beauty maxed. But if you use Chesto berries, it would not hit max. It would be locked out after you use certain berries. And that's it. That's all you could do. I know I've been ranting, but I'm so glad we don't like I for this the nostalgia berries literally in my head was thinking, man, I can't wait to do contests because those were really fun. And I realized as a kid, I never had to do this. I don't think I ever did get a Milotic in generation three. And now I understand why, because I could never figure out how to evolve it as a kid. And it makes me wonder. If this is, and this truly was meant for kids. This is generation three. This is before like it became really, really, really big and popular. Like it was popular, but it's not as popular as it is now. Like, right? Like cards, everything, people are collecting them. It's nuts. This was intended for children. How is a child going to figure out this crap? That you, the berry systems are th by three hours for four stages. And if you don't get specific berries, you can't even evolve Milotic. Like, there is nothing that tells you this. You have to be a literal scientist as a child to figure this crap out. Oh, sweet baby G. Anyways, all the work and labor is now coming full circle. Because now we're going to evolve Hancock. So she can be the beauty that she is in One Piece she can also be beautiful in Pokemon Emerald. We get to see the true beauty, Hancock, and all her greatness. That's right. She gets, to, she gets to daze us with her beauty. She gets to turn our enemies into stone. Oh my god! It looks good, but I'm gonna be honest. It does not look as good as it does in old, uh, newer generations. Like, the newer games look so much better. Like, it's very yellow. I don't remember it being that yellow. Learn Twister. Very nice. Now, Milotic. Let's see. Level 25. At 30, it learns Recover. Rain Dance. Hydro Pump. Now, we want to teach moves that are beautiful. How do I know what beautiful are? I don't know. We're just literally going to have to look. All right, we are finally back. I just went and looked at my guide because I wanted this to be flawless. We have Hancock at level 40. She is absolutely gorvi gorvish, gor gorgeous. Look at her stats, not bad. We got Rain Dance, Recover, Hydro Pump, Hyper Beam. Uh, recover is really doesn't matter here. What matters is that it's a combo. Apparently, you just want to keep doing combos. So Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, and then the very last move you just want to go out with a bang appeal is best excited the crowd then you hit this very appealing beautiful move and then you rotate to the combination and then you finish off with a massive jam jams the others and misses one turn of appeals but if it's the last one it doesn't matter so you guarantee you get four and you do damage to everyone else um and if we are beautiful enough we will always be first place so we will see 
we're gonna put this beauty in fronts i've never done a beauty contest with my Lodic, so this is going to be pretty freaking cool this is a receptionist counter for the pokemon contest would you like to enter your pokemon in the contest yes so we are going to do all the ranks this might be a very long episode i'm just going to let you know i will actually this is going to be very rare for me i'm going to put um actual like times so if you just want to see the master rank challenge click it down below and you'll have a time that you can click it so please be sure to hit a like button or hit the like button and comment down below uh, but I will be act remembering to do that. Well, watch. As I'm editing this, remember, note the times. All right, normal. Would you like to enter? Beauty. Would you like to enter? Uh, uh, Han Hancock. Okay, your Pokemon will be the... Your entry four. The contest will begin shortly. Listen, I told you that this would be the, the beauty contest episode. And so it's going to be all the way through. Hello, hello. Wait, I got this. Wait, wait. Hello, hello, hello. Wait. Hello! Nope, that's not me. Hello! Hello! Hello, hello! We're just getting started with a normal ranked Pokemon beauty contest. The participation, participating trainers and their Pokemon are as follows. Entry number one, Russell's Atro! Come on down! We have entry number two, Paige's Seal! Uh, I like what you did there, the Seal! Uh, Entry number three, we have Alex Sloth. Get it? Because it's slack off, but it's Sloths instead. And then we have our entry number four, Mr. GC's Hancock. Look what a stunner. She's gorgeous, captivating the audience with her hearts. We've just seen the four Pokemon contestants. Now it's time for the primary judging. The audience will vote on their favorite Pokemon contestants. Please be sure to keep your hands to yourself. I know she's gorgeous. Please leave. Hancock alone, please. Without any further ado, let the voting begin. Voting is underway. The judges are calculating. Not, this is nail biting. Who is going to win? The voting is now complete. While the voters are being tallied, let's move on to the secondary judging. The second stage of judging is the much anticipated appeal time. May the contestants amaze us with superb appeals of dazzling moves. Let's see a little enthusiasm, baby. Let's appeal. Bring it down. All right, I'm excited to see what you got starting off number one. Which move will be played? Hancock, what do you got for us? Wow, kicking off with a dazzling ring dance. Things are getting soaked in this podium. The pill did not work very well. The judge looked at Hancock expectingly, though. Toughness did not go well here. That's unfortunate. Slackoff appealed with counter. It just settled down just a little bit. Slackoff toughness didn't go well here. What are you all doing? This is beauty, not toughness. Aurora Beam. Oh, we're seeing some things going on. What's going on? Hancock looked down out of distraction. Slackoff managed to avert its gaze. Seal's beauty went over great. The applause! Petro appealed with haze. It taunted Pokemon doing well, but it was ignored. Petro's beauty went over great. Oh, wow, wowie, wow, wow. Hancock failed to stand out at all. What a shame, what a shame. A beauty is on the bottom. We're gonna hit hard with Hydro Pump. We used Mean Look. Things are getting looky in here. Try to unnerve the, the team was unaffected. Slackoff was unaffected. Hancock was unaffected. The judge looked at Petro expectedly. We're waiting for something. When, oh, Beauty went over. Great. Two more slots. Who's going to get the Dub Dub and the Wub Wub? Water Gun. That's right. We've got the Water Gun. Ooh, Beauty. Slack off. What do we have? Strength. Coming out. Try to startle the other Pokemon. Atro looked down out of distraction. Seal looked out of distraction. The toughness did not go well here. That's unfortunate. Hancock appealed with Hydro Pump. 
What a beauty! Fantastic, astounding. The combo went fantastically well. The crowd loves what we're seeing. Give them the hearts. Woo! Beautiful. Hancock commanded total attention. Appeal number three. We're going for Hyper Beam. Wow, stylistic. That's terrifying. Seal appealed with Aurora Beam. Fantastic. We're doing this attack again. For some reason, you're trying to startle. No, why are you looking down in distraction? Baitrolls from Russell's Baitro is using Haze once again to kick things off. It taunted Pokemon doing well, but it was ignored. Its beauty has everyone going. It's crazy. Baitro looking very cute and beautiful. Strength trying to startle Pokemon. Hancock is too busy looking at her hair and fins. Seal is looking down at his claws. Baitro is doing whatever he's doing. Slack off is just a disappointment. Hancock didn't stand out very much. It's unfortunate. Heal number four. We're just going to kind of turbo mode this because, well, there's, I didn't realize there was one more. This is a learning phase. I can't do anything. It's unfortunate. Just kind of fast forwarding here, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing to see here. We do not care because Hancock is the main show. We're telling you now, Hancock is the main show. Slack off, you, why are you even here, Slack off? Slack, Alec, you should be ashamed of yourself. Like literally, why, why are you even here? I need to see how many appeals are there, Jesus Christ. All right, I think there's only five. He's going for broke with a hydro pump. We'll see if it works out, Captain. Batro coming out with the confused ray, trying to confuse the audience into loving it, but it didn't go well. It's kind of dumb. Get out of here, you're trash. Seal wanting to steal first place, comes in with roar beam. It just keeps using the same move over and over again. Batro too busy flying into a wall like a moron. Sorry, no one likes you. Then the beautiful, stunning Hancock using Hydro Pump. Oh, isn't she gorgeous when she's not looking at herself? The crowd loves her. Slack off. That's right, we got Slack off trying to use strength. Startled everyone. Batro flying into a wall again. Seal rolling into the crowd. Hancock looking to a mirror again because she loves the way she looks. And then Slack Off continues to do Slack Off things. Your disappointment. And got caught a little attention. We're all out of time. All right, that's it for judging. Thank you for the most wonderful display of quality appeals, except for Slack Off. I don't know why you exist. You're as disappointing as your actual utilization in the game. This concludes all judging. Thank you for your fine efforts. Now, all that remains is the pulse pounding proclamation of the winner. Winner, winner. The judge looks ready to make the announcement. We will now declare the winner. Announcing the results. The preliminary results. Hancock overwhelmingly loved by everyone in the stands because she's so hot. Have you seen One Piece? Hank Melodic literally is the embodiment of hotness. I'm sure there's some weirdo out there with a body pillow of Melodic. That's right, number one, Mr. GC's Hancock won. Beauty in the palm of your hands in a Pokeball. Yeah, baby. Hancock, congratulations.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy to get this reward. Thank you, Judge. Here you are. Please accept your prize. We confer onto you this ribbon as your prize. Mr. GC received the ribbon. I put the ribbon on Hancock. Yay, the crowd loves us. I'm so excited. The crowd loved us. It was so great. I love that. Woohoo! Can you go back and actually see? Coolness. Yeah, beauty contest, normal rank, Mr. GC. I love that. And we should be able to actually go and see the badge, right? I thought you... Can you not see the badge? Oh, ribbons, one. Okay, so they did not let you see the ribbons at this point. All right, we're down to our next one. Would you like to... Yes. Which rank? Oh, no, 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 no. No. I would like the next rank. Super. Now that I know there's five rounds, I'm set. What would you like? Hancock, the winner, right? The beauty. Let's do this. I'm excited. I'm ready. Dude, beauty contests are actually kind of fun. Hello! We're back once again. We're getting started with a super rank tournament. That's right. The beauty contest. You are all waiting after the last one of our champion, Mr. Gaining Counselor. We are excited to see Hancock, the participating trainers, and their Pokemon as follows. Come on down. Number one, Morgan's Toy Ball. No one's toying around here. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry. We have entry number two, Carson's Corpy. You're coping if you think that's going to win. Entry number three, we have Audrey Swabby because they think they're going to swab the deck. And of course, our returning winner, Mr. GC and Hancock. Oh my God, she's hot. I'm about to go watch One Piece and I'll be back in an hour. Now it's time for primary judging. The audience will vote on their favorite Pokemon contestants. Please be sure to keep your hands to yourself. Thank you. I see you over there in the corner. Stop that. Without any further ado, let the voting begin. Voting is now underway. The judges are looking intensely. They have decided to withhold the results until later. Where the votes are being tallied, let's move on to the second year of judging. The second stage of judging is the much anticipated appeal time. And I don't know about you, but some of these Pokemon are not very appealing. May the contestants amaze us with the superb ap appeals of dazzling moves. Thank God none of you have slack off, because I'm going to be depressed if you do. Let's see a little enthusiasm. Let's appeal. Appeal number one, we have Hancock. God, she's gorgeous. Hancock appealing with the Radiant rain, rain Dance. Again, we just cleaned up the mess that you caused the last tournament. Literally, the floors are flooded thanks to you, but you're gorgeous. So we're we're gonna we're gonna look past it. We're gonna look past it. You're gorgeous. We're gonna look past it. Toy Ball using some psychic attack, scrambling up the next order, trying to mix things up. Torbal's beauty is standing out. Things are going to be random next time. It's going to be interesting. Swabby trying to mist up. Great. Now we have water on the floor and the room is full of mist. I can't even see the contestants. What is going on? But the crowd loves it anyways. Carson's Corpy is out here using cut because there's always that one, isn't there? Isn't there? There's always that one Pokemon that does nothing that's supposed to be doing. What are you doing? Everyone moves up except Hancock. It's so disappointing. What is she going to do next round? Appeal number two. In first place, again, is Hancock. Kicking things off with a Hydro Pump. Oh my god, the judge is soaked. God, we're just not doing so well. But the crowd loves her. They absolutely adore what she is doing. And they're giving her love. Toy Ball peels a Rock Tomb. It attracted the crowd's attention, but its smartness didn't go over well. 
Swabby using Parrish Song because it's going to try to kill us all. Great. Now we have three. We have three more turns before we all die. What? Corval appealed with cuts. Why are we doing this again? Why? Why? Why are we all? Why do we always have that one Pokemon using the same move over again? Like, where do you guys come from? Your disappointment. Get those points out of here. But like, why? Why are you the way that you are? Like, seriously. All right, we go on to the next round, the third round, and we have Swabby using Safeguard. The beauty went over well. Everyone's overjoyed for the beauty. Corpy using Double Team, actually using something different is actually crazy. It settled down just a little bit. Everyone's watching to see if Corpy actually does something different besides cut next turn. Let's find out. <laughs> It's scramble up the order next time. We're gonna find out how things go. The beauty went over great. The crowd loves Toy Ball. Then Hancock again with the rain. I'm gonna need to bring an umbrella next time. It went over excellently. People love Hancock. Its toughness didn't go over well. People are loving the way Hancock is showing, well, how it's done. What will Hancock do this time? You guessed it, more water! Yeah! I didn't know this was a water park. I thought we were a beauty contest. Fantastic, but the crowd doesn't care. Literally, the crowd does, the crowd is getting shoved with water in the face and they are loving it. Corpy used agility. Oh my God, it's a miracle. Absolutely. In fact, the, the cr combo went over so well, people love you for actually doing that. Self-destruct, Toy Ball just can't make an appeal after this. What a big, big, oh my god, Toy Ball going for broke. Absolutely stacking those hearts. We're going for Parish Song again, because for reasons, we're trying to startle. Hancock is leaping for joy, unfortunately. Corpy's crying. Toy Ball's tripping over itself, even though it levitates, but that's the thing it does. All right, it's Toy Ball versus Hancock. Hancock has attention. Appeal number five, what will happen? Corpy appealed with Swift. The standout Corpy hustled even more. Wow, Corpy actually did something. I Torbo's taking a seat back because it blew itself up, so it's gonna need a minute. Uh, can we get a doctor down here? Uh, we startled the Pokemon. Corpy couldn't help but leap up. And Toy Ball apparently gets a free pass because it's knocked out. Worked as much as the preceding Pokemon. But it didn't work out when the smart department, sorry, smartness, this is a beauty contest, not smart contest. And Hancock caught a, some attention from the crowd. We're all out of time. It's time to see the results. The results are actually dumbfounded that Corby didn't use cut five times in a row. That's it. Thank you for the most wonderful display of quality appeals. Yes, the, the, we are soaked in water. Clearly, we're swimming, almost. This concludes the judging. Thank you for your fine efforts. Now that remains is the pulse-pounding proclamation of the winner. We're going to see who won it, I imagine. The judge looks ready after being dried off, is ready to give us the results. We will now declare the winner. When it comes to the, 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 the general love, the preliminary results are actually baffling that Corpy actually got more than one. 
Hancock dazzling the crowd still. Round two. Surprisingly, Corby actually got three hearts. And Matt, it's unimaginable, but sorry, you're at the bottom of the base. Of course, second place is the two now a two-time winner. Hancock, God, she's hot. Congratulations, Mr. GC Hancock. God, I hope to see you again, just with less water. Here's your prize. Come get it. We confer to you this ribbon as your prize. Woohoo! I got a ribbon for super. I'm feeling super hot. So super, super hot. All right. Next on up, we have two more to go. Two more. That's not what I wanted. Things are only getting tougher, but I kind of understand the flow of this combo that people keep... We got the hyper tournament. We want beauty. We are the beauty of the beholder. Hancock is going to go all the way. Number four will begin shortly. Yeah, let's go. Please come through here. Good luck. Oh, I don't need luck until we get to the master. Hello, hello. We're back once again for our notorious beauty contest. We're just getting started with a hyper rank version this time. Let's see who our participants are today. Come on down. Participant number one. We've got Lacey's Lunon. Because get it? Because it's a singular stone. It's Lunon. And... Participant number two, Selena's Merrill. Uh, it's kind of, it's not a Merrill. We have entry number three, Claudia Shifty. Ah, the Shifty Shiftry. Very clever. And of course, the beauty, the hotness. Mr. GC's Hancock, the crowd loves her and remembers her. That is our four contestants. This time we're hoping that we don't have anyone using moves that make you look stupid. Now, for the primary judging, we'll move on from that to the appeal session. Once the crowd is excited, calm down. I know Hancock's hot. Hey, you! What are you doing in the corner? That's not acceptable. This is a child's game. Well, the voters are being tallied. Let's move on to the secondary judging. The second stage judging is the much anticipated appeal time. May the contestants amaze us with superb appeal of dazzling moves. Please. No water. Let's see a little enthusiasm. Let's appeal. Appeal number one. Hancock, what will she do, I wonder? Ah, of course. Third time's a try, right? Using rain dance, you do know we don't need water. We can get it from a water fountain. Please. Stop that. Do you know how much it takes to pay a janitor to clean up this mess? Contestant number two comes on down. Morel uses rest. It's sleeping on the contest for some reason. The judge looks at Morel expectantly, wondering what it's actually going to do. Shifty uses growth. That is a big freaking tree. Absolutely love it. The judge looked at Shifty expectantly. Shifty's beauty went over great. That's hot. Lunon uses Psychic, trying to startle the other Pokemon. Hancock couldn't utter but cry. Morel advanced to avert the gaze. Shifty now underwater. The judge looked at Lunon expectantly. But unfortunately, Lunon is using a move that has no reason to exist here. All right, round number two, we have Morel using Water Pulse. It's scrambled order for the next turn. What shall we see? We have no idea, but Morel's beauty went over great. Everyone loves Morel. Uno uses Confusion. Let me guess, you're just gonna use Psychic moves and has nothing to do with the actual tournament. But the combo went over fantastic. Everyone loves it until they don't. God, you suck. Shifty the shift tree. What are we going to do? Oh, oh, more psychic moves. Y yeah. Take that, Lunon, you stupid psychic prick. And then the beauty Hancock again is spraying the judge down. 
But unexpectedly, or expectedly, should I say at this point, the crowd loves her. They absolutely adore her. Everyone is soaked, including the judge, but everyone loves it. All right, random order once again. Round number three. Lunone attracted the crowd's attention, but again, for some reason, doesn't understand we're in a beauty contest. Mero uses rest very convincingly like it's going to do something. The judge is waiting to see if it actually does anything. Rest is ignored. No one, no one cares about you sleeping on the job. Then the beauty Hancock again are bringing down the rain. The peel did not work very well. That's very unfortunate. But the judge is expecting something coming to its face very soon. He's he is ready to get blasted. In fact, look at the judge. He's excited. He's completely ignoring shift tree. Condition rose above normal conditions. Gave him a star anyways. Shift tree was absolutely ignored because the judge is looking at Hancock. Like clearly, he is ready to get blasted by her. He, he for some reason wrote a note and gave it to me. He says, please step on me, mommy. Um, I don't know what that means, but here it comes. The expected move, Hydro Pump. And indeed, Hancock is blasting the judge in the face, and the crowd is going wild. Are you people even normal? Are you sane? How are you attracted to a Pokemon? It's literally a Pokemon. Meryl using Water Pulse, scrambling up the orders for next time. Beauty went over great. Everyone loves Meryl's beauty, because it's the only one really using the beauty moves besides Hancock. Lunon using Explosion because for some reason it wanted to blow itself up. But it did such a fantastic job. Everyone loves the beauty. They're cheering for it. Shifty going in for the Explosion, the double Explosions. We're going to need to have to rebuild the building because everyone's blowing up for some reason. I'm not for sure why, but everyone's blowing up. Why, why are you all blowing up? None of this makes any sense. Why, seriously, why are you all blowing up? Probably you do need, need something there. Oh, well. Hancock using Hyper Beam. Go in. It tried to start all the Pokemon, but it messed up. It doesn't matter, but she is such a beauty, she can't make a uh, make anything next turn. Morel, the only other person to actually be able to attack, uses Water Spout. Great! We just cleaned the floor. Let's add more to it, shall we? The crowd absolutely loves Morel. And Lunon is still knocked out in the corner, because for some reason, corner. We're all out of time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for judging. Thank you for, for a most wonderful display of quality appeals. This concludes judging. Thank you for your fine efforts. Now all that remains is the pulse-pounding proclamation of the winners. Yes, we have to clean up the mess. There's several explosion, you know, destructing things going on. Uh, we've got a massive hole in the floor. Please watch your step. All right, the judge looks like he's ready after cleaning himself up. Um, he was gone for a while. We actually don't know where he's been. The judge will now declare the winner. All right, announcing the first results. Wow, to, this is actually a very close match, except for Hancock, because everyone loves Hancock. She's just absolutely dazzling. Round two. Very close indeed, everyone having an opportune moment here. But of course, the true beauty shines through. Everyone loves Hancock. Round three goes to your three-time winner, Hancock. Entry number four, come on down. Hancock, congratulations. I will see you later in my office. <clears throat> 
I mean, uh, here's your here's your ribbon. Here you are. Please accept your prize and uh, leave before I get in trouble. All right. We got ourselves the hyper rank ribbon. Fantastic. I love that. All right. We have one more tournament, but I am going to do something and it sucks because I'm going to have to go and use a freaking heart scale, which is going to suck because I have to do the farming, but it's not too big of a deal. But dive dive is I'm, I, recover is a dead move here. And if I get in that situation where I can capitalize on like a, a, a water move, instead of just getting four, I need to go for dive just to capitalize because I could have gotten a lot of, and it may, it might matter for master rank. And so that's why I care about this, this is the big kahunas. No, this is, this is it. This is the master. Stop it. <laughs> this is the master rank. Which contest? No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel. God, I'm fat fingering everything. Enter. Master. Beauty. Hancock. We gotta go for the master. The literal winner of the master. <laughs> Please come in through here. Good luck. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting started with our fourth for contest. We've got the Master Rank Pokemon Tournament. Come on down. The beauty contest you've been all waiting for. We've got a bigger crowd here than usual. I wonder why. The participating trainers and their Pokemon, I'm sure they are all worthy of our attention. Right? I'm looking at you over there. Participant number one. Adorable Frankie Chuppy Chuppy. Participant number two has Helena's Wabbits. That thing is terrifying. I don't know why it, are you, is your name Jesse? Justina's Rados. I don't know what's beautiful about that. That looks terrifying. Total, I totally didn't get cheese. Welcome back. We are here now with the, the Master Ranked Beauty Contest. I hope you're all excited. We have a more, we have a bigger crowd than usual. Obviously, we have a lot of heavy hitters here today. We have constant winners, and we're going to see those winners come up with a battle of the champions. First contestant, we've got Sasha's Rodlek. What was that like? Reflect? What? And that's number two, Justina's Rados. That that's that okay? And that's number three, Blossom. Oh, she's so cute. And the fan favorite returns. We've got Milotic. His hand hand top. Blah, 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 Hancock. Sorry, I was dumbstruck by her beauty. We've just seen the four Pokemon contestants. We are excited. We are, we even have drains put into the floor. That way, if we have any water spills for some reason, we've got it covered. And we've made sure that the platform's made out of steel. There's no blowing it up today. Without any further ado, let the voting begin. Please keep your hands to yourself and leave the Pokemon alone. They're Pokemon, you sick freak. Voting is now complete. While the votes are being tallied, let's move on to the secondary judging. That's right. We're going to make appeals and we're going to see. Well, we're going to see who can do the job right. They're going to be dazzled, baby. Let's get some enthusiasm. Let's appeal with beauty moves. This is a beauty contest. Please use beauty moves. All right. Here we are. The first round of the appeals. We've got Rodlek in the front. Rodlek appeals with light screen. It becomes oblivious to other Pokemon. Its beauty went over great. The crowd loves the beauty of of, of light screen. Blossom, the cute little Pokemon. You try to flash everyone. Everyone's now blind. But people love the beauty even though they're blind now. You ever see ugly people? You have to be blind to love. Oh, that's a little dark. Rang Dance from Rados. 
even though we're all blind. The judge looked at Rados expectantly, but his toughness didn't go over well. Of course not. Of course you would ruin the, the run for me, you prick. The peel went slightly well. People liked it. The judge looked at Hancock expectantly. The toughness didn't go over well. No one's getting applause today. Hancock didn't stand out very much. <coughs> Blossom, you sweet scent. Ban. Wow, you smell great. Oh, man. But the judge is waiting to see what happens from this little flower because it is smelling really good. Rados using Hydro Pump. The crowd loves the combo. We are we are soaking wet. I don't understand you people. How are you getting excited? You are always wet. Rodlick comes on out, uses Flash again, trying to startle the Pokemon. The judge looks away from Blossom. Rodlick's beauty went over great. Hancock, front and center, comes out with a Hydro Pump. And the crowd loves the way she looks, even though they're soaked. What is wrong with you people? What is actually wrong with you people? Why, why are you the way that you are? Rados appealed with Rain Dance. Rados appeal went very well. The judge looked at Rados expectantly. The toughness didn't go over well. Of course, Hancock right behind Rados. That pretty well. The crowd is pretty excited. But the toughness didn't go over well. Seriously, this is a beauty contest, guys. Rodlick used explosion. It can't make a peel after this. Rolex Beauty went over great. The crowd loves the beauty. More of that. Blossom, you stun spore. Now we're all smelling nice and we're stunned. Rolex uttered a cry. Rolex couldn't help leap up. But Blossom's smartness didn't go over well. What, what are you people doing here? This is, this is, what, what are you doing? Appeal number four. Rados using Hydro Pump. I swear I hate this freaking prick copying Hancock. How dare you? Rados beauty went over well. Hancock, stunning, use Hydro Pump too. We are all gonna be wet for the rest of this, aren't we? We are, 100% we're all gonna be wet. The combo went over well. The crowd loved what they see. Then we have Blossom. Well, Rollick is in the corner. We have Blossom using Petal Dance. Try to startle everyone. Couldn't help leap up. Couldn't help leap up. Love that. Blossom can't make a make a thing next turn. But people love the beauty. Hancock caught a little attention. All right, this is it for all the bacon. Rados trying to make an appeal with Hydro Pump. However, the Rados disappointed everyone. Hancock coming in with a hyper beam, trying to startle competition. What does it do? It knocks Rados down a peg or two. Bye bye. Blossom has to watch because it's spinning in a circle with flowers everywhere. Can we get someone to clean up this mess, please? Hancock caught attention. And Roadluck is still knocked out. Can we please clean up all these Pokemon? We're all out of time. That's it for judging. That's right. I hope you enjoyed this. Some of you are just really creepy. Please, please stop. This is a child's game. This, 
There's children watching. Thank you for the most wonderful experience we could ask for. I'm going to end the day with nothing but soggy underwear, thanks to you. All right, this concludes judging. Thank you for your fine efforts. Now that all that remains is the pulse pounding proclamation of the winner, who's going to be the champion of champions? Who is going to be the master of them all? The judge looks ready to announce, so let's get into it. We will now declare the winner of beauty. We, the preliminary results are in, and for some reason, people really think a ball is shiny or uh, is beautiful. I, I, I'm confused, but that that's okay. And barely winning, for some reason, people love a giant man-eating worm. But today, people love a gorgeous Pokemon named Hancock. Can I please have your signature? Entry number four, Mr. GC and Hancock, congratulations. The crowd was smitten by you. Half of them are wet, and other are turned to stone. I don't know how that happened. Come on down and get your ribbon. Congratulations. You are the master of them all. We confer on you this ribbon as your prize. Mr. GC, you get to have this ribbon. Well, thank you, guys. That was really intense. God, I hate that freaking Gyarados. That Gyarados is a prick. I'm glad you used Hydro Pump so I can shoot it in the face. That was that was great. All right, we did it. We we got four ribbons. We got we mastered that. Right? That's all it is. Yeah, contest hyper rank. And we've got what? Well, screw you. You're the old master rank. No one likes you. Yeah, two of my Pokemon are up there. You ugly prick. And then we have all my, look at it, my Lodic everywhere. Almost perfect wins. This Pokemon won the beauty contest here before. Well, guess what? Today I made, made it win smart. Is there a way to like look at things? Oh, I can actually come up here and watch people compete. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Okay. I'm, I didn't even realize this was back here. That's crazy. That's really cool. Okay, so it really is multiple stages. That's gnarly. I don't think there's anything more I could do. Oh, wait. Hello. Hello, hello. You were in a Pokemon contest, weren't you? It's easy to tell from your Pokemon. I'm a reporter. I'm working on a story on Pokemon contest. If I may, would you be willing to answer a few questions? Oh, you will? Thank you. Briefly. Wait, do I have a thing for this? Wait, no. Yes. How about this? Briefly, would you describe the contest you just entered? Uh, yes. I, I would say, um... Milotic. That's my answer. I see! That's a very edifying comment! You get a good feel for what the contest was like. I've got one last question. When you hear the word beauty... Beauty. What do you what do you get? Um when I think of beauty Uh I think of Milotic. Yes, Milotic, that's my answer. I see So that's how you imagine the concept of beauty to be. Thank you. You've given me some good ideas. I think I'm going to write down a good story on Pokemon Contest now. Maybe, just maybe, the story will be even make it on television. I hope you look forward to seeing it. And that's it for the show. That's a wrap. And that's a wrap for me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the longest Emerald Nuzlocke video we've done to date, but that's because I'm packaging it all at one. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button, comment down below. And let me know what your favorite part of the contest was. And uh, I apologize if you did not like the announcer voice. I literally, it's, I've never done announcing, so there's really hard to be think of announcing things. So uh, uh, thank you for your, your patience. As always, hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel for more. Until next time, game out.
Huzzah!